Hey guys, this is Shiro and welcome to a new series, I guess, a new video series. Uh, the series called 10 light novel series that should get translated. Okay, I'm just searching for light novel series that I've always wanted to read or that I think are worth getting translated and that I really want to read in English. And yeah, the goal of this video is basically if any of you can translate uh, Japanese then well if you want to you can translate one of these like if you're searching for something because none of these are currently getting translated and once they're getting translated or if I missed it just send me a link and I'll update it in the description but yeah seriously every one of these is worth a read at least in my opinion and there's a lot of different reasons as to why I want them to get translated or not and it's more or less just me wishfully, hopefully thinking and yeah, just hoping that someone out there might think, well, yeah, I've got some free time on my hands, time to translate a novel. The first one I'm gonna talk about today is Item Cheat Na Dore Harem Kenko Cookie. Like seriously, I, I really have to read the name because I can't remember it. And the English name is Independence of a Slave Harem with Item Cheating. To be honest, I don't have much of an idea what it's about. I can only tell you the tags, which would be action, fantasy, romance, harm, and supernatural. But I bought volume one of this in Japanese just because I love the cover for some reason. Like, I just had to buy it. And seriously, I think it's worth a translation because it's a little bit different. Like, seriously, item cheating. And also, it's gonna be cliche as fuck, so that's always fun. The second one on the list is Ori no Real to Net Giga Love Comedy ni Shinsho Kusare Hajimete Yabai. Like, seriously, I'll just leave the name somewhere on the screen. Um, I honestly don't really know what it means because my Japanese sucks. Okay, it's just not good enough, sadly. Uh, but I know what it's about, which is totally not because of the synopsis. <laughs> Well, there's this guy, Keta, and he doesn't really have any experience with girls, and he's a gamer. But in games, he's controlling a female character, but in offline meetings of the games, he's portraying himself as the Night Lord, and like, I don't know, like some really powerful male character. And he's basically wearing two masks, one in the game and one in real life, and he becomes famous in both. And it's a pretty funny love comedy according to what I've read and according to the reactions of people. It's almost got a 9 now, like a 9 rating with 9 people rating it. Like almost nobody has read it so far so I'd really love to see a translation of this because honestly the cover is cute and it sounds pretty interesting. And the third one has a pretty weird name, 0.0000000001% 0 Deranai Shiroi Neko. Why did I choose this? Just look at the cover. Seriously, also Shiroi Neko means white Neko. And Shiro Neko, I, I love cat girls. Like, that. that doesn't really have to be a reason for that. Seriously, I just wanna, I just wanna know. I just wanna know what it's about. It's only two volumes, so. Okay, only, it's still a lot to translate, but if anybody would translate that, I'd be incredibly happy. Now, number four is something for my Kamidera side, it's God World. Yep, it's got a pretty damn good title. It also has an emoji in the name, or a text emoji, like whatever you want to call these faces. I don't actually know the names of these, maybe you should check that sometime. But seriously, the cover is cute and God world, seriously. The guy looks like he's probably gonna be God or something. It's action and fantasy, so you never know. There's apparently no harm in there, so it might turn out really well. Apparently it's still pub it's already finished publishing and there's two volumes, so it's pretty short and maybe worth the translation. Because honestly. Yeah come on, it, it has gotten the title. For number five, I actually have more of a reason of why I want it to be translated. It's Hatena Illusion, and that's actually by one of my favorite artists, like the art in there, uh, Kentaro Yabuki, aka or Yabuki Kentaro, like 
which way around his head again I don't really give a fuck but um, he is the artist of To Love Ru and To Love Ru Darkness also wasn't it like Black Cat like the thing Joey liked I don't really remember I just love him for To Love Ru Darkness because I fucking love it Momo Momo is waifu and this light novel series as far as I found it has no translation so far, it's got 4 scores and is at 9.75. It might be a really damn good novel series. It's still um, publishing and it was first published in 2014, so there might be there might be still a lot coming. I don't know because you know I haven't read it. Also, the cover is cute, the art is awesome. Really somebody has to pick this up. With number six is something that I just chose for the pretty awesome name. It's Maoga Yajin wo Harate Kurenai or The King of Darkness Doesn't Pay the Rent. Like seriously, it's a <laughs> as far as I can guess from all the information I have here, it's about this uh, girl which is obviously not the protagonist because, you know, there's romance in the tag so it's most likely another male protagonist who gets to know this girl on the cover and she may be the Mao and living in our world and not paying rent, maybe even freeloading at the guy's place, you never know. Like that's what I guess from it, but I don't know, it, it, come on. It's kind of funny, it kind of reminds me of Hataraku Mao-sama and in a more stupid, more cliche anime haramish way, so might be worth it. Like I don't know, if you like harem stories, I love harem light novels because I don't know, I I just do. And with number seven there's actually something pretty weird there. That's definitely worth translating and I really don't know why it's not translated yet. It's Nichan wa Junibio, aka well the protagonist some kind of, they get this power to see names aka okay, titles or descriptions above people's heads like witch, vampire, undead, all of that stuff, even serial killer upon like over a girl that's getting close to him. And <laughs> his sister apparently named this ability, what did she name it again? Lord of Soul. And seriously, I don't know, it just, it sounds really interesting because seeing these names over people's heads, it's... <laughs> I mean, he can basically anticipate everything that's happening, if that's even the truth he's seeing. Or maybe he's just seeing some bullshit, I don't know. Like, we gotta translate that to find out, but the cover is pretty good and I, I love art. Number 8 is Necosis. I basically just put this on here because my friend Kai loves it. I basically bought him this volume sometime. Um, it's... Let me read the synopsis to you, it's, it's really, really helpful. About a family of human-like cat creatures living in the modern human society. It's basically the origin story of Kuroneko, and it's, it's by the author of Remo. And yeah, my friend Kai loves Kuroneko, and just because of that I think it's worth mentioning it, also he'd probably kill me if I didn't mention it. Not even kidding about the killing part. With number 9 we come to something that I've waited for to be translated for a long, long, long ass time. And I just searched for a translation again and I seriously can't believe nobody picked this up. Like seriously. It's Outbreak Company Mueru Shinryakusha. Or like however the fuck you pronounce it. Seriously, it's the light novel series to the Outbreak Company anime. As far as I know, only the manga is getting translated. And I don't know why nobody picked up the novel. I might be mistaken about it and just didn't find the translation. Could happen. If I did, please leave it in the comments below and just send me a link to it or something. But I've wanted to read the light novel series for that ever since the first episode of the anime was airing. And I just found the Ross, and I still just find the Ross. Maybe there's some partial translation somewhere, but seriously, if it's not already being translated, this definitely deserves to be translated, at least in my eyes. And if you don't know anything about Outbreak Company, then watch the anime. 
And the last one on the list is something that I've waited for even longer. Basically one of my favorite mangas of all time for a reason that I can't even quite explain is Rising X Raideen. I don't know, I just really love it. And when I was searching for, you know, the Japanese volumes of the manga, I stumbled upon the light novel series too. And no one is translating it. And I love the manga, I really want to read the novel series. It's just, uh, to be honest, the story is mostly bullshit and it's about a guy always dreaming about being a stranger, aka getting powers that differentiate him from being a human. And he always wanted a cool power and he gets a really, really pathetic power where he just shoots out white slime at people, like literally white slime. And it's pretty damn edgy. Like, at least the manga, and I hope the light novel series is too. I really want to read it, so that's actually, like, that one is the one I'd most appreciate if anyone ever translated, because I, I seriously just want to read it no matter what. Seriously. It's awesome. At least the manga is. So guys, that's it for <laughs> this tiny begging video, I guess, like, me begging for people to translate this. If you like this kind of video, then just leave me a comment below, like, maybe you even have some light novel series you always wanted to have translated, just send me a link to it and I will mention it in one of these, like, maybe one day a translator will ha happen on, upon one of these videos and see, well, people want this translated and maybe just find out about a new novel series they didn't know about and just start translating it. I mean, it's worth a try, right? Also, you see a lot of cute, cute novel illustrations and, you know, the covers. So, it's always worth a try. So, yeah, just, if you like this kind of video, please leave a like. And I'm not sure if I just, if I already said that before, you know, my memory is pretty bad. <laughs> but anyway, see you guys next time. Bye!